everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a look inside the brand new all inclusive space unit study. All right, let's go ahead and look inside. So the space unit study is 17 lessons. Each one follows a very similar format. Here's your table of contents. After your table of contents, you have unit study resources. Now all of these resources are additional and supplemental. They are not required, they are not needed. They would enrich the experience and a lot of them would make a great morning, afternoon, or bedtime basket. Here you will find books, games, videos, and hands-on activities. Again, these are extras. You do not need any of them. Next, you have a space sensory play option. Here are some supplies needed, how to set it up, pictures for reference, and then a little bit more information about sensory play and why I suggest it. And then this is the layout for each lesson. So each lesson has kind of a unit study page similar to this. It's going to have supplemental book list for that topic, a YouTube playlist that has a clickable link and a scannable QR code, a Pinterest board again with a clickable link and a scannable QR code, and then a hands-on activity. So for the introduction to space, your hands-on activity is to draw your own Milky Way galaxy. The material is needed the instructions and then pictures for reference after your unit study overview page you have a reading passage you can choose to read this aloud or have your child read it themselves this is basically going to be the informational part this is where they're going to be doing a big portion of their learning and then there is some sort of worksheet or activity for them to do for this one it is going to be roll a space story so they're going to roll the dice, pick the setting and what they're having an encounter with, and then they're going to write their space story. Other lessons are what is an astronomer, and you're going to make a simple telescope. Again, here is that reading passage. Most of the reading passages also have discussion questions, so you can ask them or you can even have your child write them down in a notebook if you wanted to have like a reading comprehension notebook. Coloring page for all ages, but very helpful if you have younger kiddos. An anatomy of a telescope, and then here is a label the telescope. So again, all the lessons follow that same overview. The majority of them have a coloring page and then some sort of worksheet for your kids. So here we have the stars and constellations, supplemental book list, your YouTube playlist so you can watch some videos, your Pinterest board if you like crafts, your hands-on activity here is going to be to create a life cycle of a star. Here is your reading passage with your discussion questions. And then name the constellations is the worksheet for the kids in this one. And there are constellation cards that you can print off that have more information about each constellation so that they can use these to learn more as they're filling out this worksheet. And then a constellation report where they can pick any constellation and learn more about it. The solar system, supplemental book list, YouTube playlist, Pinterest board, you're going to make a solar system brownie, cake, or cookie. We did this already um, so that we could do this picture, and it was so much fun. You guys are going to love that. Your reading passage, and then you have a label the solar system and a solar system word scramble. And then for the sun and each of the planets, there is a coloring page that has facts on the coloring page so that your kids can learn while they're coloring. And then you're still going to have the worksheet of some kind as well. So each lesson follows, like I said, a very similar layout. So it'll be very easy for you to be familiar with. In the back, there are some extension activities. These are extension activities for older kids. There are writing prompts if you wanted to include some writing in your unit study there are multiple writing prompts for you and then there are a few review options so at the end you can use this space crossword puzzle which is going to be review as well as a space fill in the blank so both of those are going to give you kind of a review of the entire unit 
And of course, it wouldn't be a Waldock Way unit study if it did not include games. So the space unit study includes three different printable games that you can print and play, and all of them are going to help you learn even more about space. The first printable game is a constellation memory or match. So you could flip the cards over and when they match, you get to keep them. Another added bonus to this would be that if you wanted, as you were playing and you flipped these over, you could then find the matching constellation fact card and read more about them. So you could play and learn at the same time, or you can just play the constellation match with these and learn, you know, just kind of what they look like. So that is the first game. The second game is Solar System Bingo. So you would just pick a card that's Mercury. And so you would put a bingo chip on top of Mercury. The first one to get three in a row would be the winner. This is really good for becoming familiar with what the planets look like. Um, and you could even make it a little bit more difficult by reading some of the facts instead of using the names. The third game is called Zooming Through the Galaxy. It is a simple roll and move game. So you just roll a dice. And if you don't have a dice, don't worry, there is a printable one included. And I rolled a two, so I'm gonna move two spaces. Now, the goal of this game is to reach the moon and whoever reaches the moon first wins. But each time you land on a space, you have to answer a trivia question correctly. So you can see here, I landed on this symbol. So I'm gonna answer one of the celestial bodies question. So this question says, how many stars do astronomers estimate are in our galaxy? Now, if you don't know the answer, don't worry because there are answer keys included, one for each of the different types of questions that you're gonna be answering, which are the celestial um, questions. Those are like meteors, comets, asteroids the space study, so that's gonna be about astronomers, astronauts, and the space race, and then solar system questions. Each one of them includes 32, so you can play this game multiple times and still have new questions to answer. And again, you just continue the gameplay by moving that space and answering the next question. That is everything included in the space unit study. And this is something that we are so excited to do. If you are excited to do it and you're going to be joining us, let me know in the comments.